All right, so we're putting up um, shelving in my utility shed here. You can see I'm not too worried about looks because it's a utility shed. I'm just using scrap wood for these pieces. Basically, first I just start off, I put a, uh, a 1x10 across the studs. You can see I've got the really heavy duty brackets every second one and then just the cheapo ones just to save a bit of money these things are like 10 bucks each and those are only about two bucks each uh, and I don't really need the strength of all four of them across there so basically what I'm doing is you can see I've got the filler pieces in the back here between the studs so I put this in first and then uh, I cut the length here because this shed was built in such a way that the distance between the studs is not always the same. I didn't build it. Uh, then once I get that distance cut, I rip it along here. I measure the depth and rip it. Um, then for this piece, you can see I have this hole here. Um, I put a, you can see the pencil line right here, Oops. you can see the pencil line I have here, that just shows me where the division is between the, between the two pieces of wood and it helps me determine where I'm going to put the screws. Uh, I pre-screw it, I'm going to soak that in glue, screw it up there, I'll soak that in glue screw it up there and then put the piece in there and screw that in place and then uh, we're almost done with this guy all right we're just going to um, glue that up And then you can see I got the glue there. And now we just drive those up into place. And now I have the perfect place to store my electric chainsaw. I just took, this is from a, the old lock on the door, uh, and a hook from Ikea, and we're in business. That's the chainsaw I use for my smoker wood.